Hey guys, Joseph here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video review. So this time I have with me a brand new projector by a company called Wemax. So this is the DICE. Yes, this is a portable 1080p projector. It has some pretty awesome features like a built-in battery. It has a Bluetooth. It has a really good speakers, 1080p, beautiful colors. It also accepts 4K signal. HDR support and I connected this with my soundbar yes via Bluetooth that's actually something I've never done before with other projectors but it was possible with this one so if you're looking for a projector that you might want to go outside you might want to go camping maybe uh, having an outdoor uh, cinema experience well this projector seriously it's pretty awesome so welcome to the channel guys I'm Jolster and let's get right into this review. Let's do this. All right, guys, so let me start by, by the build quality of this mini portable projector. First of all, it feels like this is made of aluminum or some kind of metal, which makes it feel and look very high quality. I like that. Right here in the front is where we find the uh, projector lens, and right next to it is a little focus camera that helps to get the better picture in focus. Right here on each side, there's uh, plastic panels. They also have ventilation. This is works great for airflow and also for speaker placement. Right here in the back is where we find all the ports. This is the power port, a 3.5 millimeter jack, and then it's a USB 2.0, and then an HDMI 2.0 as well. And then right here is where we have another ventilation. At the bottom, we have a mounting bracket, just in case if you want to mount this to a tripod, which is a nice addition. And then on top, we have a power button and an LED indicator. So this is what's included inside the box. We have the welcoming card and inside we have a microfiber cleaning cloth, which is nice. Then we have the user manual, of course. We need that. Then we have the remote controller, which, which is actually pretty nice. It is Bluetooth, so the connectivity, it is very stable and it's fast. And we also have the Android Google Assistant right here. Very nice, I like this. Then we have the power cord, of course, it's necessary, and a power supply, power brick. I'm not very, you know, this. I'm not a big fan of external power supply, but it is what it is. All right, guys, so I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the projector operating system. First of all, this is an Android 9 OS, which I like it a lot. I'm very familiar with it. It is super easy to navigate and to use. This is the, my favorite apps are placed right here on top. You can also add more applications from here. There are some already pre-installed. For example, I want to add Pluto, I just press enter. Then let's say that I want to move Pluto, press and hold OK button, move, and then I place it wherever I want to use it. It is absolutely amazing. I love this. There's also Super Install, for example, TED over here. YouTube is here already. Uh, Play Movies is already here too. There's some applications that you can pretty much use them right out of the, out of the box. One thing I did notice is that Netflix is not here. So uh, that is something that I'm missing because I really like Netflix. So what I did is I connected my Amazon Fire Stick. Although this is awesome, but all my accounts and including Netflix is on my Amazon Fire Stick. So what I did is uh, you can go to inputs and then open up your Fire Stick. Now, one cool thing about this is that the same remote that I'm using for this um, for this projector, this is the same remote that I'm using to control the Fire Stick. So you don't have to worry about having two remote controllers. You can use the same one and it works amazingly, surprisingly good. You guys can see it right here. So now over here, I do have access to all my applications, including Netflix, of course, and YouTube, um, of course, Amazon, Amazon Prime, movies anywhere so i have all my digital movies here it does accept the 4k resolution but 
it, uh, it is downscaled to 1080p. So you guys know it is right here on top. It has the HDR logo right there. And let me tell you, it looks fantastic. I love how it looks. Overall, picture looks amazing, guys. This projector, 1080p, 500 inside lumens. It looks absolutely stunning. And another thing, the sound. Oh my God, the sound on this projector is amazing. So you can feel the bass, there's uh, this treble, there's really good mids, and it, the sound is just very, very rich. So if you're in a small room like mine right now, you, it's going to be loud. And this is just like, look at this, it's almost at the bottom. Let me turn it up. Like right there, it's already way too loud. The sound is impressive on this projector, I'm telling you. And oh, and that's not it. You can also use this projector as a speaker. So let's say that you just want to use the speaker, no uh, video, just press the power button. You can scroll down and it has a Bluetooth speaker mode. I think I already connected to my, to, uh, there you go. So to my phone, let me just double check if it's, already connected yeah there it is there it is so let's say you don't want to use the picture just turn this off and that's it all you're using is the speaker pretty awesome stuff right so another great option that I enjoy with this projector is that it has Bluetooth. So besides having a great sound, it also has Bluetooth. So you can obviously connect maybe a soundbar or maybe a Bluetooth speaker on uh, this projector. In my case, I am using the Nakamichi soundbar, which also supports Bluetooth. And it's right here. This soundbar has surround sound speaker. It also has a Dolby Atmos. Although this projector doesn't support Dolby Atmos, but with the surround sound from this soundbar, it's just amazing. So yes, you can enjoy a great movie or your videos with a great sound. And also let me show you how it looks, you know, with the lights turned on. That's how the image looks. So I'm using an ALR screen, which is, you know, it's supposed to reject ambient light, minimize the uh, ambient light rejecting, but it still looks amazing. You know, this is not, this uh, screen is designed for ultra short throw projectors, but when I turn off the light, look at this picture. It looks beautiful. So yeah, if you wanna have a better sound experience, use the Bluetooth, highly recommend it. Um, one key feature that is missing from this projector, for some people it's not a big deal, but for me, I wish I had it, is 3D. So there is no 3D option, just in case if you are a big fan of 3D movies. And I, and I think it's a big miss because projectors, you know, you're experiencing the big screen and everything. And 3D movies are, even though it's kind of old school, but I love it, especially in a big screen like this. So I wish every projector had 3D, but in this case you're missing that now another cool thing is that i'm a gamer right so of course i want to have some games in here and you can download some games for example pac-man and you can use the remote controller from uh that is already included and it's awesome this controller since it's bluetooth it's super responsive i like that oh i should have eaten the ghost right there so here's the Xbox Series X, even though this is a 4K resolution, but uh, once you connect it to this, you can only play at 1080p, and that's pretty much it. Nothing else works, uh, but my God, you can still have some good fun gaming here. Now, I recommend that you don't play this highly demanding games like Call of Duty, 
because I did notice there's some, uh, the input lag is kind of high. So it is, you know, it is a playable game, but it's not as fast. So you're going to struggle, especially playing online. I would recommend to play games like, I don't know, like solo games, like uh, Watch Dot Legion. Games that are not that demanding, you know, Ori. All right, guys, so another cool feature about this is the voice assistant. So it has the uh, Google Assistant. Let me just show you how this works. Show me movies in 4K. Press and hold. And it should take us to all the 4K movies available. And there it is. So yeah, you can choose whatever movie you want and it'll take you to the app that is running that application, right? Let's do another one. Let's do, um, show me alien movies. There you go. And there you go. <laughs> oh, wow. There's some movies that I haven't even seen. And of course, alien, oh, the collection. It should be right here. I love alien movies. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. All right, guys, so what can I say? My conclusion with this projector, my experience so far has been very positive. I like that it's portable, that you can take it anywhere. It has a built-in battery, 1600 milliamp batteries, which is gonna last you about an hour and a half to two hours, depending on you know what settings you're using, if you're using a brighter or, or maybe echo mode, uh, also how loud or how, yeah, the volume is on your built-in speaker. So yeah, you can take it camping, you can take it out, outdoors, maybe in the, you wanna have a movie night outside. This is really awesome and it's also very small. So uh, another detail that I wish it had, for example, to uh, charge the battery, you have to use this uh, specialized power supply that is already included in here. I wish it had like a micro USB instead or maybe USB type C so I can you know, run the power through my uh, power supply, maybe my own uh, portable battery, like the ones that we use for our phones. That would be perfect. That would make it totally portable. But no, I have to you know, rely on the power supply that is already in here. In the end, this projector sells for $550, which I think is a really good price. You're getting a really good high quality projector and built-in speaker as well, built-in battery. So yeah, $550, high quality stuff, guys. I love it, highly recommend it. All right, thank you so much for stopping by. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think if you have the experience already with this projector? Let me know what do you guys think about this. Thank you so much for stopping by. I'm Jolster and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out. Oh, hey guys, Jolster here. Thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. By the way, did you enjoy this content? If you like this kind of content, and you would like to support this channel, first off, make sure you like and subscribe. And also you, you can become a member. Just hit that join button. You get access to some of the emojis that I created. And also you get early access to some of my videos, in the aftermath of the live stream that I do, but mostly just wanna support this channel hit that membership program. All right, I'm working on more videos right now, so make sure you stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys. Joel's around.